Hey there Indie Warriors, Tanguistle here with a new review for you all. Today we'll be taking a look at Nira. Nira is a procedurally generated RPG with sandbox elements of building, gathering, and fighting among other things. When I saw it, my first thought was, ooh, it's a pixelated Minecraft with a top-down view. It looked nostalgic, charming, and quirky and it disappointed me greatly. For calling itself an RPG, there's not really any story to it that I found beyond your person named Nira. Totem is a totem that talks and refers to itself in the third person. If you die, Totem will bring you back, and it will give you quests. Fetch quests exclusively from what I played, but they are quests. In addition to building, gathering, and fighting, you can also farm crops, trade with traveling NPCs, ride non-hostile critters, and craft things like tools, weapons such as swords, bows, and guns, and of course, explore. Controls were simple, WASD to move around, F to interact, or left mouse button. The upper right hand corner had some reminder icons for things like I for inventory and M for map, though that didn't actually bring up a map, just a weird arrow pointing toward your totem. I wasn't able to test out the game with controller, but it does have controller support. It might be easier to attack that way, cause I had a heck of a time trying to melee anything using mouse and keyboard. One of the quirks I did not like was that you don't have a separate gear slot interface for your armor. It sits on your hotbar and gets a little colored box around it when it's equipped. Took me at least five minutes to figure it out because the tutorial just gave me the hotkeys and not much else. Tutorials themselves amounted to a series of rushed little powerpoints that would obscure enemies sometimes and get me killed. There were no tips that I saw on how to get certain materials. You kind of have to figure out a lot of stuff for yourself, which, I know, appeals to some people. The game has a leveling system for your character, and another for your character's various crafting skills. Harvesting resources and fighting enemies will get you experience. Totem will let you invest this experience in your player level, which provides a cap for how high you can train your skill levels. Your skills allow you to craft different things like refining materials, weapons, structures, and more. I liked the leveling system a lot with this game. It was a little more manual than a you use the skill to level the skill system, but there was something satisfying about holding a key down and watching a bar fill up. Or I'm um, just very weird. I only played the game on easy mode, but even that was a pain in the butt. The first time you die, Totem brings you back with all your XP and items, but warns you that this is a one-time deal. Going forward, you'll drop half your experience, drop your toolbar items, and lose your inventory. Like, completely gone. No getting it back. Every time. Now, here's the big thing. If you like getting your butt kicked by a game, there's a good chance you'll like Nira. I found ranged attacks very effective, melee, virtually useless, and the controls responsive and accurate. I also died a lot even after I managed to make my pistol because enemies would swarm me unexpectedly from off screen and lunge, which made aiming difficult. Not really my cup of tea. For example, iron was very difficult to find, so losing my inventory became quite crippling for me. String and leather was even harder to replace, and there only seemed to be two biomes desert island, and ocean. There were purple portals with black frames, but I never did figure out how to make these work. They might not even be portals, but they looked an awful lot like Minecraft's nether portals to me. Having had a rough enough time just on the surface and on easy, I wasn't particularly keen on finding an even more dangerous area to explore. Graphically, I love the pixel art style, but I think it was a mistake to try and do different elevations of land for this game, especially with a top-down view. For the first 20 minutes, I didn't even realize there were different elevations. The colors tended to run together, and your character seems to be able to scale any height difference. The only reason I noticed the elevation at all was because I stopped at one point and noticed my legs had disappeared. Much as I love the style in the trailer, playing in it got boring quick. The music was my favorite part of this game. It's got a great little soundtrack of chill and tense background music in something that is reminiscent of an 8-bit style music but much cleaner sounding and more pleasant on the ears. Final thoughts time, Indie Warriors. Much as I hate to say it, this game was disappointing for me. I found building confusing and dissatisfying because I could barely differentiate the levels and a height difference of two or more would make my grid box for placing appear to be on the same row when it was really on a lower elevation that was higher up the screen. If that statement made your brain hurt a little, that's because playing made mine hurt a little. 
Easily my biggest annoyance was losing my inventory on easy mode. Take a page from Terraria devs, easy mode is for people who don't like dropping all their stuff. Save the inventory loss penalty for higher difficulties. Experience loss didn't really bother me at all because it was so easy to get. I won't be playing any more of this game, but what about you? Will you test your skills against the world of Nera? Do you like the quirky pixel style? A very special thank you to the following indie warriors. Mitchell Hall, Bunny, Kevlo, Bill T, Christian Cruz, Chris Jackson, Nathan Moore, Peach, Adriano Amato, CJR, PSC, Sequoil, Skeptism, Jen Rose, Jesse, CPM, Julian Colvis, JRS the 8th, Raylin, and Markiman. Thank you for watching I Dream of Indie. Your support helps to bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. You can find info in the description below on other ways to support us, as well as a variety of links. If you want to catch future episodes, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Until next time, Indie Warriors, good luck and have fun gaming.